Hello and welcome to part two of this three-part series. This time we're going to be covering Vegeta, the prince of all Saiyans. Okay, similarly to uh, what we did with Goku, uh, we're going to cover the uh, basic attributes of uh, each transformation, the uh, first appearance of each transformation, as well as the uh, believed to be multipliers of each transformation. Now again, I realize that a lot of you don't believe in multipliers, but some do, so I feel the need to mention them. So just just keep that in mind. Uh, if you don't agree with them, that's fine. Now, uh, first, uh, let's go through Vegeta's base form. Now, Vegeta's base form is characterized by uh, a distinct sort of spiky hair, but it spikes upward. And uh, he has a big widow's peak in his the middle of his... Uh, forehead and uh, dark eyes and dark hair and uh, another thing is uh, Vegeta has darker skin than Goku if you haven't noticed particularly in the anime now uh, one thing I find uh, interesting about uh, Vegeta's uh, hair color is that it's not actually black if you look closely in the series uh, when light shines into it uh, it shows uh, brown streaks in his hair, which shows that he has dark brown hair, not actually black hair, like Goku does. And uh, one last thing I find uh, personally interesting about Vegeta's hair is that it reminds me of a cabbage. Like, have you ever seen what a cabbage looks like? Whenever I look at a cabbage, it reminds me of Vegeta's hair. <laughs> Except, you know, Vegeta's hair is spikier, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. Now, uh, next we have uh, Ozuru Vegeta, and uh, this is characterized by uh, Vegeta growing much, much larger in size. Uh, he takes on an ape-like appearance, he has red eyes, and, you know, the funny thing is, uh, he actually looks more like a cross between an ape and a dog, if you haven't noticed. Uh, his first appearance was against uh, Goku when he fought him on Earth. And it's believed that the multiplier for uh, Ozuru is times 10. But uh, yeah, that's one thing I find interesting about Ozuru personally is that uh, he actually looks like a cross between an ape and a dog because he reminds he reminds me of both, and I wouldn't be surprised if those were the inspirations for it. Uh, next is uh, Super Saiyan. Now, uh, what characterizes Super Saiyan is. Uh, you know, golden blonde hair, uh, turquoise eyes, and uh, one thing you'll notice about Vegeta in particular is that he pretty much keeps his same hairstyle at base, except it lights up like, uh, you know, Super Saiyan does. And uh, also, like all Super Saiyan forms, his clothes and his skin also light up. And in case you're wondering, I believe that it lights up because it's emanating uh, energy, but that's kind of obvious. And his first appearance was against uh, Android 19. We could talk about both the anime and the manga. And his uh, base multiplier is uh, times 50. But uh, yeah, on a short note, that's one thing I find interesting about Super Saiyan Vegeta is that his hair doesn't look that different from his base form. The only difference is, you know, the color of his hair and eyes. Now because I know people want me to mention it, I'll mention it. Uh, there's Ultra Super Saiyan, or I guess you could say Super Vegeta. Now this is similar to base form except uh, he bulks up a lot more and has, let's say, stronger uh, looking aura. Uh, and of course he moves a lot slower and his first appearance was against uh, Semi-Perfect Cell. And it's believed that the base multiplier for this is 75 times or base form or 1.5 times Super Saiyan. Now uh, last but not least is uh, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Now uh, much like Goku people get confused as to what's Super Saiyan 2 and what's Super Saiyan. Well the appearance of Super Saiyan 2 works like this. It's kind of similar to Super Saiyan 1 except his hair is even spikier and sticks out even more. Uh, his clothes and hair, his clothes and his skin lights up even more, and you and sometimes he has lightning, but not all the time. His uh, first appearance was against uh, 
was against Goku when he was in Majin Vegeta, and it's believed that the base multiplier for uh, Super Saiyan 2 is uh, times 100, or I think 2 times uh, Super Saiyan 1. Now one last thing I want to note about Super Saiyan 2 that I find interesting is if you actually watch the series, aside from Majin Vegeta, when Vegeta usually goes Super Saiyan 2, he usually doesn't have lightning. Could be an uh, art mistake, but nonetheless I feel the need to mention that. Anyway, that's been my video, so uh, see you guys later. And uh, oh, and stay tuned next week for uh, we cover the son of Goku, Gohan. Like this video? If so, then click on the annotations on screen to go to some of my other videos. I mostly like to do topics on Dragon Ball, but I'm open to some other topics as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoy watching these videos as I enjoy making them. And I hope to see you soon with some more videos. Until then, see you later.